Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War and part 2 of Can the Oranges Take the Bridge? So previously we watched the Oranges bring a lot of T-34s and a lot of infantry. Um, this time they're going to be bringing a lot more infantry and they're going to be deploying some of these missiles here which um, are going to be raining absolute hell on the tan side. And one thing that you guys asked me in the previous video was can we destroy this bridge? So the answer is yes, and not only that, Lord Malice himself, as um, he has messaged me in the comments of the previous video, and he says, as the commander-in-chief of the Southern Vietnamese forces, I demand that we blow this bridge, so we're going to do it, we're going to blow this bridge up, I've already called the Air Force, they're on their way, so the, the Tans are going to come and blow up this bridge before the Tangerians can get across again, so anyway, you guys named this leader in the previous video, his name is Major Lexington, so a big shout out to this guy right here, you're the guy that named him, and also if you do want to name any other leaders in the future, I think the best way is to upvote the uh, the best answer in the comments. So just tick, the, just tick that little like button on their comment, and it should upvote it to the top comments, and I will see it then, and um, I will pick the best one. So anyway. What's going to be happening in this video is the Tangerians are going to be assaulting this bridge yet again. Uh, but we're going to destroy it first. So I'm going to go ahead and press the start button. And we're going to watch the Air Force come over and take out this bridge. So we're going to zoom out right here, look. And here they come. Drop the bomb. Oh, so, oh my god, look at that. It was huge, huge explosion. So there goes the bridge. The bridge has been destroyed, just as you guys commanded in the comments. And now we're going to be watching as the angry Tangerians... Is it, oh, we nearly landed on some of our troops there. Um, so the angry Tangerians are now going to be advancing a lot of men across this riverbed. And the reason the riverbed is so shallow is because the tide just does come in and out from the sea, and it has its effects on this river. So this is going to be an epic battle. There's going to be a lot of troops moving in. I think they're backed up by some BTRs this time. They're not going to bring in the T-34s because that was a complete and utter failure in the previous video. So the BTRs are going to be their main source of power. And also these missile things. If anything, let's get these things firing. So look, watch the devastation that these things bring. So we're going to target that bunker right there. I don't know if it'll do anything, but we'll see. There we go, look. Wow, now that is some Tangerian firepower right there. So anyway, the Oranges have the second biggest army in Plastica. And the first biggest army is owned by the Reds. So, yeah, the third, I'd say the third biggest is probably um, probably the Greens. Let's just get rid of that little blue thing over there. Oh, the missiles are firing. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, I always love it when there's some sort of, um, some sort of land mattress shooting over. Look, look at that. The question is, though, can the Tangerians actually make it across this time? Look at that, there's, there was a lot of them. And here they come. Here comes the main source of infantry. There is going to be a little bit of lag in this battle because of the amount of infantry that we're going to be uh, deploying. But nevertheless, it's going to be it's going to be a bit like slow motion. Just pretend it's slow motion. And the lag, the lag will die down eventually. I have went ahead and moved these cannons from that hill over there as well and deployed them further down to the ground. And that's because, I, I don't know, I feel like they weren't really doing anything up there. But these things are going to be a lot more effective against this infantry and these BTRs that are going to try and cross. You see? Oh, God. That was a good shot. Oh, well done, old chap. So, if the Tangerians do get across, they will have a clear path for using this road. They'll obviously re rebuild the bridge, and then they have a clear path to Taigon. And Taigon, if you look at this map, is the capital of the south. And if they were to take the capital of the south, it means that their whole campaign for the north would be pointless. And they'll have to pull back and support the south. So hopefully, the Tans can hold their own and stop the Tangerians from getting across this bridge. And when the tide does come back in, which would happen in, maybe in the next few hours, it means that they won't be able to get across this. This will be too deep for men to cross. That's a lot of oranges right there. And these bunkers were were a bit useless because of those new those new hellfire techniques that they use with those missiles. But the Tans did use some tactics in this as well. They've blown the bridge, and the Oranges use missiles. A good plan, if you ask me. It's a counter, a counter offensive. I'm just going to turn on the turn on the click camera position again, so I don't keep zooming into the floor like I keep doing. There we go. 
got a few tan soldiers up here with some OK-47s, Grey K-47s and more. And they're just waiting for this army of Tangerians to cross this bridge. Look at that. Someone's almost threw a grenade at them. Oh, it's these these guys here, the first line of defense. What's that? What's he doing? No, he just got blown to plastic bits. Not good. Artillery is now covering this, uh, this shallow area. Wow, look at that. Like I said, I do excuse the lag. The lag will not be here forever. But still, nevertheless, it is really cool. It is so cool to see that many troops in one screen at one given time. There's not many games that you can do this in. That's why I love Men of War. So this side's doing alright. Let's check this flank over here. This flank is doing equally alright. We've got a huge pileup of soldiers right here. I don't know why. They must be regrouping, talking to their squad leaders, and planning some sort of route across here without being killed by this artillery. And we've got a tan puma which is engaging the soldiers in the shadows. We've got a lot of tan infantry running around the place up here as well. Including a panzer shrek as well, look at that. They're trying their best for the Tangerians not to get across. If anything, they should send that huge group of Tangerians over there, across the river. The scripts for this battle was for the Tans to also try and get, get across the river and counter-attack the Tangerian defences, but I knew if I scripted them like that, they would stop around here, which makes them a defensive force and an offensive force. So, And that's because sometimes the best offensive is a good defence. So. I think that's the strategy the Tans are going for right here. Oranges are slowly but surely moving up this beachhead. I've got no more BTRs to support them there. And there's no more machine guns holding them back. Oh, this mouse is so sensitive. It's really hard, especially if it's a laggy game, because I'm trying to... Oh, God. I'm trying to pan across the screen, but I've just went out and bought myself a new mouse. Because my old one was what? Like, it was like, I don't know, 20 years old, my last one. It was a laser mouse, but it was like the early, early laser mouse. It's like a Microsoft one. This one's a proper gaming mouse, but it's super sensitive. And I'm trying to adjust my my hand to the um, to the cursor. Good shot from the Panzer Shrek there. If we get any closer, we'll see some grenade warfare. missiles. Oh no, the Tans actually retreating. I think the Tans are pulling back from their first line of defence. Maybe that's a good technique though, you've got a huge group of them there. Just one shot from some artillery, that's rude. The oranges are actually making it to the top. Oh, this could be bad, this could be really bad for the Tans. that many men in this battle that they're actually using each other as cover. Operation Human Shield, we could call it. Oh, this is epic. Look at that. Both sides dealing a lot of damage right here. Let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win this battle? One then pushing forward. There's still a lot of in, in reserve though. These guys are just going to keep coming over, but I think it's having a sort of domino effect. As soon as one is killed, the next one is killed, and the next one, and the next one. But even though the Tans did pull back, I think it was a good strategy to use to use the open, the, like the open fields to lure them into the open. It's a sort of like... What's that thing? What's that game where you just uh, wait for the heads to pop up and then you hit them? Those arcade games. I'm gonna have to fix why these helmets are floating. Gotta love men of war physics. I think the Tangerians are on a full retreat now on this flank. We'll have a look how they're doing on this flank. 
They're now coming across the river. That's a lot of troops. They're also trying to bring some BTRs with them as well. They're also bringing in some reinforcements. Again, these things here with the missiles, where are they? Now, uh, these things are what's done, the, done all the damage. I think these took out all the bunkers. What we're looking at here. What's the reload time on this? Oh, it's only just shot. Oh, we've got another one shooting. It's not friendly fire, is it? But they're just keeping the area covered. Uh, and then again, I think that was friendly fire. Just a little bit. Back in cinematic mode. Now the Tans are going on the offensive again with their OK-47s and their Grey Gays. Moving forward, wow, look at that. That was a really good strategy by the AI. Pull back, wait for them to come. Just pick them up as they're coming over the hill, then advance. So we could be seeing a full offensive from the Tans now. Oh, the pin down at the bottom of the bridge. Oh my god. So that was really unfortunate for the Tangerians. I really thought they was going to make it over this hill then. Oh my god. Artillery from the Tangerians. They called it. No, it's missiles. It's missiles. No, the Tans. They lost a lot of men in that, in that attack. These, these poor Tans. Then again, these poor Oranges as well. Oh my god. And there goes the Tan Offensive. This is just a giant no man's land. Well, no man's river. That's what we'll call it. No man's river. And here comes the next offensive from the Tangerians. Got a panda trek moving up. These things are quite effective against infantry as well as tanks as well. Not too sure what we're doing over here. They're using the foxholes as cover. I don't know if we can get a grenade over there. Let's see if we can reach a grenade over there. Let's just do a test. Grenade out! Is he actually going to get anyone? Oh, we got a kill! He actually got a kill. Just randomly throwing a grenade. More missiles, no. But a good thing about these missiles is it's giving cover for the tens. Because this is a really open area. I think it's a really cool depiction to see this in Men of War. And um, to see that one side is one country, this is Tangeria, and to see that the other side is Viet Tan, so. Good enough, really. Poor Tan's running away. He's like, I just want my mommy. I want my mommy. Brave soldier, though. He's a gunner. He's not gonna last long. There's too many of them. Get down, get down. Dude, this is a hero. We'll remember this guy. We need to find out his name. Oh, no, we didn't get time to find out his name. Poor dude. And here comes the final assault of the Tangerians right here. If anything, Sultan Laventine should bring the rest of his men across the river right now whilst they have a foothold. I think he's holding back the waves. We don't want to throw all of his men into one battle. I think we do have a Tan reserve artillery piece right here. Now this thing is what's going to be holding back the full advance on this flank. That and two infantry. Two riflemen. I think it's just what they needed as well. Heavy artillery. Then we have one line of defence back here. Including this thing that has missiles on it. I mean I think we can shoot. No it's, it's still active. It's been shooting. What are these guys doing? Come on. Okay, let's give them a nudge over the river. Get them up this hill. Come on, boys. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you, you tangerines. Just get out of here. I think I'm in the... Uh, yeah, for some reason I'm in the FX editor. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I'm just going to move these up because they seem to be stuck. I don't know why. There we go. Give them a little nudge. No, they're just running back. They're like, no, we don't want this. Cowards! Cowards, push forward. Come on. You can do this. You can do this, Tangeria. After an attack like this, I can't see that. I can't see her Ma Major Lexington having much more men in reserve 
Maybe Lord Malice would be kind enough to send some troops. Maybe just one company of men to come and support the border. That's if the Tangerians don't take it in this video. But the central position seems to be posing more of a threat now than the flanking position over there. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should do a full scale shot? Full scale charge from this side. We have got a missile thing right here. Let's let's see if we can target some some tans with this. We'll keep it realistic to coordinates. Let's see if we can shell this central position here. There goes nothing. Take cover. Oh wow. I love the, I love using those things. They're just really cool to use. Really satisfying. Other than that, I think the Tans have again broke the Tangerian assault. Maybe we we'll get this thing across. Sometimes I have to take control of them. I know, I know a lot of you guys hate me taking control of the units, but sometimes you have to in this game. And not only that, it makes it fun for me as well. I mean, I don't like to just commentate. At the end of the day, it is a bit of fun. It's a story, and um, I do try and keep it realistic when moving the troops. But it is a game of luck, really. Sometimes they'll get shot, sometimes they won't. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, I, I do wish the people that I was controlling couldn't die. That way I could give you guys a more entertaining story. That's a very deep area right there. More missiles covering the central position there. This orange this orange BA-11 right here, I think that's what we're called. I think this could do a bit, bit more damage than what we all think. So now we've done that, let's see if we can bring up some troops. You stay there. Don't retreat. They've just got they've got a thing for retreating, I think. They don't want to advance. Then again, can you even get up there? It's like <laughs> Alright, get out, give us a push, will ya? We need a push. Yeah, you get up there eventually, it's just a slow it's a slow ride to uh to their death. I'm just going to have one pop at this central position over here and see if that I can actually clear the defences for the oranges. I don't know if we're going to do it though. We might be able to. We might be able to. That's it for the AI now. There we go. It's up to you AI. Oh god, the artillery is turning. Oh, Major Lexington is like, We need some artillery. We need some artillery. We need something. We've got artillery there, but my god, this is not good. This is not good for the Tans there. Now, we're giving some leeway to the Oranges on this side now to advance, you see. I think it's the distraction that they needed. A very close battle, this one is. Oh, there goes the BA-11. <laughs> I think the artillery was just too much for it, but they did manage to take out this thing. And I think this is the um, this is the missile thing that was taking out the majority of the oranges coming up this hill. So now it's up to these guys. We've got one platoon of men left. They've decided to sneak up. Oh, but the artillery has spotted them. An absolutely insane battle. Very close one as well. Now these riflemen are exchanging fire with this position. These two riflemen must have done a really good job. Let's check out how many kills they actually have. That's so one thing we can do in this mod. So he's got no kills actually. Okay, that's interesting. And this guy's got 144 kills. Wow. Who are the controllers? Let's have a look at their names. So Akara Kikuchi. And we have Akanari Hoki. Okay, so them two, we're going to recommend them for medals if they survive this battle. Definitely going to recommend them for some medals. That artillery is just too much. Way too much. So I think we're going to call it there, I think. I think we can call it a... I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll let you guys decide who won this battle. Tell me in the comments and let me let me know who you think won this battle. Again, this is a, this has been a really interesting interesting battle. So we do have a lot of men on this side still, including a lot of missiles. Let's do one more wave before we before we end this battle. So wave. There we go. Look at that.
absolutely epic. So let me know, what do you think? Do you think Lord Malice should reinforce this position? Um, do you think the Tangerians should go again? Maybe not in another battle. I think we'll keep this to a two-part episode. But who knows what's going to happen on the battle map. You just don't know. You see, so anyway, I'm MightyMap123. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a part two episode. So if you do want to see part one, there will be a link in the description. And I will see you all in the next one.